Um, so I was a you know elite level national weightlifter. I did make two international teams for Team USA. But throughout that period of time, I was also going to school to be a teacher. I went to grad school to be a counselor. And somehow that pushed me into teaching CrossFitters weightlifting. But I would say I'm definitely like a teacher at heart. And weightlifting just happened to be the, the subject that I actually get to teach. When you look at the snatch as a reactive movement, I have to know how to control that reaction. So, so something is going to happen when I snatch. And I can only control pieces of it. When we're in a session, a lot of times, you know, people are just going crazy, doing all these things, and we have to actually bring them back to a small piece. So we're working on a very small detail, and you have to find value in that detail. Every time you snatch, you're just trying to find faults. That's why we video, we watch, okay, what did I do wrong? Now that's the piece I can be practicing. And once I put these pieces together, I get, I get a better, you know, reaction. I get a better snatch. So it really is like personal counseling session for that skill, for that movement. And we're just looking at drills to put together to ultimately build that skill. At camp, if we have 100 participants, I would say five to 10 of those every camp are very unfamiliar with a barbell or this is their first experience. The more unfamiliar somebody is with a barbell, the easier that person is to work with because they have no, no bias, no preconceived notion. That's fun. It's like having some clay you know, to mold and to work with. The guys that are really, really strong and it's not much of a functional strength, that's more difficult because nobody wants to know that they're strong but be unable to perform in something that's like labeled a strength movement. So if you can kind of drop the strength ego and just get into movements that actually allow you to, to work on weaknesses and there's always somebody that can lift more than you, there's always somebody that's faster than you, they can hit positions, they're more mobile than you. Like the, the more that that brings you back down to yourself and you improve on yourself enough, you'll beat everybody else. And even if you don't, at least you're stepping forward like you're getting to your best and that's that's kind of our goal.